Morning, Crafty Karen Designs here. <clears throat> Today um, I'm going to show you how to make this little clutch bag, uh, gift bag. It opens with a Velcro, Velcro dot, and as you can see, I think you can see, there's loads of room in there, you can put all sorts in there. <clears throat> I've used um, woven threads and terracotta tile on this one. And I've used the um, in colour faceted dots and I've put some um, little pearls on the bottom to stand it up so it doesn't the bottom of it doesn't get dirty. So here we go, I'll show you how to make it. All the instructions will be over on my blog at crafty Karen Designs dot blogspot.com. I forgot what it, forgot what it was then. Right, first of all, what you need is let's just move these. <clears throat> piece of cardstock which is 12 by 12 and shot yeah and first of all score it at three all the way down and at nine turn it 90 degrees score it at five and at seven and then at four and a half down to the first score line and seven and a half down to the first score line and then at six to about two thirds of the way to that score line to that first score line so it's to about two but it doesn't have to be exact and flip it 180 degrees <clears throat> and again four and a half to the first score line seven and a half and then six down to about two and then for the um, <clears throat> front of the bag you need a piece which is six by four and a half and score it at four and that's all the scoring so we'll move that out of the way and we'll fold and burnish all these score lines or all the full score lines, I should say. Um, this colour I'm using this time, this time is um, Seaside Spray. There we go. And then <clears throat> what you need to do, you need to get rid of this piece, this piece, oops, this piece, and this piece. But you're going to cut down this score line to here. So I'll just show you. So if you cut on the just to the right of that score line, get rid of the bump and take it up to the first score line that goes the full width of the card like that and then cut that one across there this will be your tab to, to stick it all together <clears throat> so do exactly the same on all four corners Last one. Oops. Just make sure you cut away the bump. There we go. And you're left with that shape. And these you just make a little fold. <coughs> On that bit there these will be your sides these will come up like that to make your bag shape before we do that we'll stick the DSP in the front in the back 
So I'm using woven threads. And this piece is five and three quarters by four and three quarters. And they'll go on there. And on there. Just be careful if you're using a, using a directional pattern that um, it's facing the right way on both sides. So I'll just stick this on with some Tombow. Leaving a little border all the way around. the glue about. There we go. <coughs> Oops, open. Get that off. It's a new bottle of Tombow and it's coming out quite fast. So again we'll put that on there and give that a bit of a press uh, now I've stuck the sides with um, red line tape <coughs> because you need something that's nice and strong so just put some red line tape along each one of these the foam folder and then we'll <coughs> take the backing off pokey tool just do it one side one side at a time you need to bring that fold line to that cut line like that One side. Come on. There we go. And then there's your bag shape. Just give it a push it together a bit, and that will give you the the gusset on the side. There we go. <clears throat> right for the for the flap of the bag. Let's just fold and burnish that. Get rid of these bits. And what I've done is I've rounded um, the bottom corner. Just to make it look a bit nicer. And I'm going to use this for the um, from, so I'm going to round off the bottom corners of this one as well. Like and then we need to glue that with some Tombow. get it as centrally as you can and leaving a little border all the way around. There we go. Now I'm going to use some um, some of this in colour 
um, linen. Is it linen? Ribbon. I think it's linen. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put red line tape on the back of it to, um, to stick it to the front. So if you just lay it flat and this red line tape fits exactly. I think it's called scalloped, scalloped edged ribbon or something like that. I can't remember. But it's one of the in colours. This is the seaside spray one. Oops. Get off. I'll just chop that off there. Give it a press. And then pull the backing off. Line the line that off on your grid paper and then pull this tight. Line it up as straight as you can, flip it over. Stick that down to the back. There we go. And I'll put some red line tape on this top of this piece here and then we can stick it to the bag I think the light's good enough on this it's gone very dark outside I think it's going to rain again there we go you squish the bag together And lay that on the front and then turn it over and line it up just underneath the score line fold it over give it a press and there's the lid of your bag front flap or whatever you want to call it right <coughs> sorry excuse me i've used the stitch rectangles um do this bit on the front I've already cut them out so I've got one in seaside spray which is two and three quarters by one and a quarter and I've got a smaller one in whisper white which is about what, two and three eighths by just under an inch and I'm going to stamp on that in um, seaside spray and I'm going to use the same um, sentiment I did before, which is from, I'm sorry it's a retired set, but I, quite, I just like the font on this one. Um, it's the needle and thread one, but any, any small sentiment will do. Just depends what you want it for, I suppose. On there, there we go. I do like this colour, it's very pretty. <coughs> and then I'm going to glue that to that. And hopefully, it looks like um, like one of those. Um, clasps on a handbag. That's what I'm aiming for anyway. And then on the back of here I'm going to use some small dimensionals, mini dimensionals, one in each corner. Let's put the lid on that. Take the backing off. And 
I'm just going to arrange that in the middle. Like that. There we go. Then we need um, a Velcro, some Velcro dots. And these are about half an inch. Um, and the, I got these on um, Amazon. So I think I'll stick it on this one first, on the flap first, so that I don't stick it to the ribbon. that one and then close the bag just stick your fingers inside and give it a bit of a press there you go and then I'm going to use some of the faceted dots, I think that's what they're called. Oh, my eye starts rubbish. Yeah, faceted dots. And I'm going to use the seaside spray ones. Put one over here. And one over here, and hopefully they look like studs on the front of your handbag. And then I've got some little pearls that I'm going to put on the bottom. Um, these aren't stamping up pearls, I haven't got any. These are contraband pearls, but they do the same job. Struts my finger. Coming and on that corner, it's a bit skew with that's better. And one on that corner, there you go. So it'll just stand on those, and the bottom of it then won't get dirty. So, as you can see, you can get loads inside it some um, makeup, nail varnishes, body lotions, sweets, all sorts of things. So there you go. Two cute bags made with woven threads and the in colours. Um, all the measurements will be over on my blog at craftycarindesigns.blogspot.com later on today. I hope you like the project. Um, if you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll get notified next time I upload a video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.